commissioning editors specifically, um, and I think especially when it comes to queer topics, tend to be really conservative, small c conservative, about what they think audiences are ready for. And I don't mean shying away from queer topics at all because they think audiences aren't ready for that, although that is also the case. Um, what I mean is there's really an assumption that anything queer has to be on a 101 level or people aren't gonna get it. It has to be the most basic, the most simple, not a single concept that needs to be explained, everything just really laid out. Mm. And I think that is important. But I also think there are now enough people who are ourselves queer, who have taken the one gender studies class, who know people who are interested, who have read the one book, who have read the annual Pride Month Guardian 20 Gays in History You Should Know feature, um, and just kind of have that internalized. Um, I think there are now a critical mass of people who are ready to go to the next level and who are ready to have a more adult and a more interesting and a more accurate and a more justice oriented conversation about queer life, about queer history, about who we are, about what we are. Um, and I think that that is the place where we can start to heal or start to, to repair this really uh, astonishing rift in the way that people talk about queer history.